Oh, wow. Will the real Rick Shields please stand up? Oh, will he stand up? Oh, let's go! 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 And there it is. Just sink it. Just oh sink my word. it. Just oh sink my it. Word. <laughs> Get over in now. Get over in. Now. <laughs> you really, oh, really want to see me do this, don't you? <laughs> this is a Dale's versus, and this is a, the big one. Big one. What are we doing today, and who are we doing today? We are down at Marriott Worsley Park. If you like golf and you like YouTube, you would have heard of this bloke, and here he is, the big dog. Here he is, Rick Shields. Welcome Hello, down. Welcome down. 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 YouTube himself. Thank you for inviting us. Right, it, this it feels nice. I was saying this is like being at home, but somebody's <laughs> come round to cook for me because we're here. Yeah. And this is what I do on my filming, but you guys are filming this today. Yeah. I'm excited. And what a gaff it is, by the way. Nice gaff. Mega Manchester weather. Yeah. Yeah. I was Booked it say. for us. Go on the northern weather. And uh, I'm looking forward to taking you guys on. So what we're doing today is Dale's versus. Obviously, you're a pro. Um, so we're not. We're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely not. So we're going to do texture shambles. Yeah. Okay. Against you. Perfect. Yeah. You up for it? Love it. Right. And I feel a bit weird saying this, um, but if you haven't seen uh, Rick's channel, which I'd imagine <laughs> if you're watching this, you probably have, because he's got 1.6 million subscribers. Is that it? Oh, yeah, right. that's, that's it. it, is it? Oh, just right. the 1. Just the 1.6. Yeah. Uh, I, keep, I keep looking back and thinking, these guys are going to catch me. I've, I've got to keep pushing. I've got to, to be honest, keep by pushing. the time this comes out, it might be 2 mil. So, <laughs> <Exactly>. yeah. We're <laughs> saying 1.6 at the moment. But if you haven't seen this channel, get over there. Yeah, it's class. It's, it's the nuts. And basically. you guys should have 100,000 subscribers by now. Let's hope. Well, let's hope. Well, hopefully, well, after we're this video... We're going to talk about YouTube on the way around, because out. I'm very... I love it. I've loved this journey so much, but I still don't get YouTube. I don't get it, but anyway. <laughs> That doesn't change. <laughs> exactly. I don't get it that much. That's reassuring. That's reassuring <laughs> right. to hear. Right, let's All right, on. Let's shank. First hole, par four. Really nice opener. Dead yeah. straight. Pins right down there at the white flag. Your miss is a little bit left. Right. Apart from that, middle of the fairway. Fair right. Play well, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you, Rick. Good luck, my friend. Rice on a bike. And some breakfast. <laughs> right, okay. You want for a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely crushed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna stand there and pretend absolutely that was crushed normal. The that was expected. On the face the that shook, shocked me as much as it shocked you guys. <laughs> I'm having the best t-shirt I've ever, ever, ever hit on this hole. How far do you reckon that went, Rick? Um, it'll probably be knocking on the door 300 by the time it's rolled out. What's your carry? Two. Probably about, roughly 270s carry. <laughs> right, come on. Aim. I hate this first shot so much. Left is your friend. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. yeah. Left is your friend Close on this hole. Right. right, come on. Come big, big and diamond. Come on. Oh, oh Zinger well, well. Tower come Burger on. Mill. <laughs> come on! It's gone about half a distance to Rick's, but straight, so we'll take it. I don't know, you know. That's that was, a big one, you know. That was that was good. Come on. I didn't quite catch mine. <laughs> so Rick. Uh, when did you actually get into golf and who got you into golf? It's a good question. Um, I was 11 when I first got into golf. Yeah. So I just pretty much just started um, high school and my mum got me into golf. Your mum? Really? Mm. Mrs. Shields? She did. So she went down to the driving range. She got some lessons bought for her and she went down to the driving range and uh, I got dragged along yeah. as you do as a yeah. kid. 
Kick no and screaming or were you happy about it? <sighs> Possibly not too pleased because yeah. again, I mean, I, I lived in your world. I was football mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was football mad growing Decent. up as a kid. Decent man? Uh, no. no. <laughs> I used to play for a team, but I wasn't, right sport. I wasn't a good player. So uh, an hour in the driving range, next to my mum having a lesson in the teaching bay, and frustrations and annoyance and, you know, yeah. all the things you expect as a, as a new golfer. Yeah, yeah. But suddenly there was a couple of shots that you just hit and you go, it's the classic oh, golfer, isn't it? That felt not as bad as the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not saying great, but felt not as bad. And then from there, I just my mum started to get into it a lot more. So I kind of just naturally started to get into it as well. And, you know, all of a sudden, really into it. Addicted. Yeah, got, got bought a membership probably for my, maybe my 12th birthday. And then never really looked back. Yeah. And, and the more golf I played, the less football I played. Yeah, and that was and, it. Uh, yeah, and it, the, the scales, soon tipped to pretty much 100% weekends playing golf rather than kind of probably when I started it was 100% weekends playing football yeah. really. And you, your mum must be so proud now of like, what you've gone, and, <laughs> gone on to have done. Yeah I mean she she doesn't play anymore which is a real shame. Oh why not? Uh, just life oh, okay. gets in the way doesn't yeah, it sometimes yeah. and and uh, we used to what was really nice I used to go out as a you know when I was a, a teenager going out playing golf, like spending four hours with my mum. How rare is that? Yeah, that is, like, yeah. so rare. Yeah, it is when you say it like that, yeah. And to be able to do that and experience all that, I mean, one of my favourite trips ever, we went to um, the Isle of Arran, just off the um, uh, northeast, west, west coast of Scotland. Seven golf courses on the island, and me and my mum drove there one time. We spent seven days playing seven different golf courses. It's wow, one of my cool. memories that I'll, I'll yeah, that's awesome. cherish forever just because it was such a special experience. And yeah. you can't, I couldn't have done that with football. No, I definitely. couldn't play seven matches of football against <laughs> yeah, my mum. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come, you're right back, I'm left back. <laughs> We're gonna be all right. So to be able to, to have that experience and be able to play seven whole, seven days and loads of time with my mum, it was really nice. So yeah, she kind of got me into it. She was a lady captain. When we first joined the club, I was junior captain for one of the years. We both had dual captaincy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it kind of stemmed from there really. Well wow. done, Mrs. Shields. Yeah, <laughs> you've done. We've done well. <laughs> the good thing with this place, the greens are massive. So that pin is very much at the back. Music to my low, ears. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I don't know how big this green is, but it's yeah, it's it's probably thirty yards. So you want to carry this middle of the green, it'll run up nicer to the back of the green. Oh, ah, say. sound is say. awesome. Oh Jesus Christ. I don't think that's long. It's the right length, isn't it? Yeah. Just, right six, it's just where it's, left. it's kind of, you pulled it so it's going to naturally go a little bit further. Yeah. But where you've missed left there, it kind of vanishes into like a... Safe? Am I safe? You're safe, cool. you're just okay. not on the green. Right, come on the new grip, don't let me down now. I don't think we ever talk so seriously in, 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 in our existence, have we? <laughs> you tell it means a lot to us, <laughs> this one. This thing. I just we want, want to win, win one this hole. one. Win one hole. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, wow. You said that word. <laughs> wow, that was absolutely awful. Trust the process. Right, come on, Rick. Trust, Trust, the, process. Trust the process, new grip. <laughs> this is the hardest shot in golf. The, yeah. one, the one straight after a shank. <laughs> Watching somebody hit a shank. <laughs> yeah. What kind of shot do you think is the hardest shot in golf? Um, I mean, it depends who you ask, but typically the one, the common answer is like, a. 40 yard bunker shot. Yeah. You just have to be so precise. How would you play that? Would you play it, but like, would you try and take the sand or well, that, try and play it like a normal shot? That's all that the reason issue, why it's hard. Yeah. There's, there's multiple ways you can do it. Right, okay. You can go big swing and try and splash it. Yeah. You've got to be really committed because if you miss strike that, or you've got to go shorter swing and almost nip it. Right. So it's, you've just got to be yeah. so accurate. So it could with go it. four yards or it could go four, 400 <laughs> yards. Yeah. Oh, fatted it. Oh, fatted it. Front edge. Chase! I mean, it's still not that shabby, oh, is it? Probably one of my better ones. We got away with it. Right, pin eye. Pin Left. eye. We've got to go close here. Left of pin eye. There's no way he's putting more than it's two. It's a two putt for Rick, isn't it? Yeah. Let's be honest. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. 
sit down. Oh, shot. Thank you. Right, I'm going back to the old grip. Practice swing. It's just that slope to the right, yeah? Yeah. Just aim at Rick's bag. Run out. Me? You, just. <clears throat> okay, not as close as I want it to be, but I'm on the green. Long range birdie opportunity. It swings big right to left, up the hill. And you do know, Rick, on this channel, if you get a birdie, you know what follows, don't you? I'm just going to lag this up. <laughs> I, think I, say, I think I remember a little, I'm just gonna little something from Rick up. saying I'm never doing the birdie dance. Did you, did you not get that in my con <laughs> Did you not get that in my contract? Yeah. Just said when I signed to do this small, gig. Small print, mate. <laughs> Again, if you haven't seen it, Rick and Guy here do uh, the podcast. And on the podcast, Rick said he's never doing the birdie dance, but I'm... Oh, I wanted to get a bit closer oh. than that. I wanted to get a little bit closer Ooh. than that, gentlemen. Oh dear. You scared me with the birdie dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't miss the kid. <laughs> Did you look at the hole then as well? Yeah. Wow. I find it helps me. Glenn Huddle told us to do it, didn't he? The, yeah, the, Glenn, the, whole yeah, the Glenn Hoddle part. Have you not heard of that, Rick? I, I have. I've seen Spieth do it from close range, but not from that far out. Well, I don't know what I'm doing, so I listen to Spieth for it personally. Bloody hell, gentlemen. I thought this was a nice, friendly game. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to the Marriott for a victory, Rick. Ooh. Wowzers. Wowzers. I mean, there's eight holes to go. So Wowzers. I, I wouldn't hey. worry. <laughs> They come to my turn <laughs> and they do this to me. Hey, one up to the gentleman. So second hole, a little bit shorter than the last hole. Two bunks on the right, you kind of want to avoid. Again, left your friend. So it's either three wood or driver. Which is what you guys Three wood for me then. Three wood <laughs> driver. It's your honour, gentlemen. I'm a little bit gutted about that first hole, I'm not gonna lie to you. I felt, you know what? I've, my, my foot came off the accelerator. I thought I was in driving position. I thought I was in A1. No, no sweat, but no, the Dales came back. <laughs> Come on. That'll work. It's up the right. Up, off. Yep. Is it the path for a bit of extra yes. distance? Oh, he's still going. It's, <laughs> it's still going. Local knowledge? 360 down the middle <laughs> of the park. <laughs> Come on, big lad. Do something good. Aye. Left, you, left your friend, but that is left left. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so much your friend. Oh, wow. What a shot. Sounds different. I can it? do it's that just... bit. It's the it putting and the chipping. <laughs> the bit that I'm not as good at. No, but that's all right, that. that's fine. Why does a proper golfer's shot sound 10 times better than non-proper golfers? But what's crazy, yeah. we spent time with a proper, proper golfer last week. Yeah. Min Woo Lee yeah. from Australia. Yeah, yeah. I asked that same question. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, oh, 100%. His Different sound levels. is like next level. So if you thought that sounded good, yeah. it, that was okay. But honestly, his sound, I was, I was stood like going, what? That's <laughs> that mad, sounds a different level just again. Speed, just club speed. Club head speed, yeah. centerness of strike, yeah. consistency. If you've got like really straight swing path, and, so there's no deflection. Right. You know, like if you cut it's across it. Through it. Yeah, you're hitting it. Yeah, when, when those guys hit through it and it's in a straight line, yeah. Yeah. all that club head speed is going into the ball and that's where, and you, can hear and that's where you get that speed, yeah. It's a bit like, a, I suppose, a bit more like a punch and a glancing punch. Yeah. Like when someone yeah. proper nuts somebody in the nose, you yeah. hear it, yeah. where if it's more of a glancing blow, you don't quite... Or yeah. like a footballer taking a free kick, like the way they'd curse the ball sort of thing. That's yeah. probably a much nicer way of describing it, rather than a punch <laughs> in the face, yeah. but yeah. Getting smashed in the <laughs> nose. <laughs> I know he won the first hole, but come on. Fighting <laughs> talk already. Right, we're letting a couple of people through. Um, Rick, 2012, YouTube Empire started. Yeah. Before that, you were a pro slash instructor. Yeah. Do you miss it? 
Um, well, I still did it only up until the start of 2020. Yeah. So I'm still coaching. Because. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get me on a treat. <laughs> oh, it's not far away. Good effort. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I, golf. I didn't I coach him. No, he, he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's not one of my guys. Yeah. The guy who's down the fairway is my guy. Um, so yeah, I, I was still coaching. Um, I loved coaching so yeah. much. That was the reason why I got into YouTube, to promote my coaching. Yeah. Mm. So I wanted to tell people who I was and what I, what I thought of and yeah. how simple golf can actually be. Like Sometimes we can overcomplicate it. Yeah. Tell me about and, it. And yeah. it's like, mm-hmm. it doesn't always have to be. So um, once I got really busy as a golf coach, it was amazing, don't get me wrong. And it got to a point though where YouTube was kind of taking off and coaching business was also taking off I also decided me and my wife decided to have three children in that time frame as well so it's like hold on something kind of needs to give give a little bit and um, as much as I do love coaching I'm sure I'll get back to it at some point yeah I I feel like I coach all the time because I coach on online yeah you know because I tutorials exactly so I get that what the biggest kick that I used to get from coaching was that satisfaction that my clients hit a great shot. Yeah. yeah. And that was the, no better feeling. Like yeah, yeah. literally mm. almost their good shot was better feeling than me hitting a good shot. Yeah. Where now I get that through the comment section. I get, you know, like, oh Rick, you've, you know, I couldn't break a hundred, now I can yeah. through your tips, or I couldn't break 90, now I can, or you fixed my slice. So I get those little bits mm. of satisfaction from that really. So as much as I, I'm not coaching in person as much anymore, yeah. I also still feel like I'm coaching hundreds of thousand people around the world yeah. all the time really. So yeah, that, yeah. That, I get that kick it from that way, really. And, and, you, and you say you started the YouTube channel just to coach people, or, or did you see a market there and go, hang on, there's something in this, or? There was zero money in it when I started. Yeah. Z- and I mean zero. It wasn't a monetized platform. There wasn't oh, ads. Wow. There wasn't ads at the start of a YouTube video. That wasn't a thing. When I first started, nobody was making money, apart from like paid sponsorship for videos. But yeah, that yeah. wasn't what I was trying to get into. So once I kind of started, it, it was just to advertise myself. It mm. was a free advertisement platform for me. And then once I started getting people through the door, that was paying me money. God, yeah. You know, oh, cool. so yeah. It, was, it was a mechanism to get people to, get, to come to you. Really for, in, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, wow. so I only used to teach the, the, the five mile radius around Manchester. And suddenly as soon as I'm making YouTube videos, you, you currently, I'm starting to coach people from Bigger all across the country. Yeah. Like yeah. All across the country, and I mean that. And even very, very early in my YouTube kind of career, People were coming over from America for lessons, and I, and no. I swear, I, I couldn't believe it still at the time. That's amazing. They might have tied it in with a business trip or a trip yeah. to see family or whatever, but they were coming to see me because they'd see me on YouTube. And I wouldn't have made that money from that person if it wasn't from YouTube. No. So that's how I saw my making my money. And then it did then switch on to become a monetized platform. Yeah. And then I kind of invested in, in better cameras or, or um, you know, editors and staff and mm. so to build it up that way, really. So. Um, it was exciting and it, it's really crazy how it's evolved. Massive. If you'd have asked me at the start of 2012, yeah. would I be stood under a tree here in 2021 talking about this? <laughs> With a couple of big lads, probably not. <laughs> With shoes from soccer at I'd probably say no. But that's kind of, life, life goes that way yeah. sometimes. So yeah, it's, it's been fun and, and uh, YouTube's an amazing platform as you guys know and the, the fact you can have such great interaction with audiences yeah, and you can I love it, cool yeah. collaborations and play nice golf courses and whatever it may be. Well. That's what I like, you just, you're there 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 and you just exactly. interactions there exactly right i'm just gonna put one out there please i've got your back brother there we go back yeah. in play back in play are you gonna go aggressive now yep <laughs> low little slice what do you reckon what's the shot you play <laughs> i've never been here <laughs> <laughs> I've no idea what you'd play for me. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd probably hook a six. That's more my shot shape. But slicing well, in, a six in between also the two, work. I would hook it down the, almost down the path line. I'm nervous and... for these two walkers. I'm gonna right. No. Oh, I we'll just top it back into play. Just top it back it's into play. Right, yeah, perfect. <laughs> top spill. Like that first bit out of that video. Won't use that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Rick, you absolutely murdered one down the middle. What's this, 70, 80 yards? Yeah, it is. It's 80 yards on the nose. 80 yards. This green's really complex. It, there's like three plateaus to it, really. So no, where are you aiming, then? The pin's front front plateau. I just yep. want to keep it on that side. So just okay. right at the pin, land it just on the green. 60? 60 degree. Cool. Oh, yeah, oh that's that. a bit short right as well. Oh, Rick. Oh. 
I feel like I've misjudged that enormously, gents. It's gone short. It has, it popped up really high, it didn't get any distance. Right, come on. I'm due. 60 good. degree, yeah? 60 degree. Really commit to it. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Very sure. nice. We're dancing. Not sure we are much dancing. Where were you here? Come on. It's not something I say a lot, but your yes, ball. Nice. Use my ball. <laughs> a little bit of beans up the hill. Let's get it nice and close. Simmer. You went for a putter, Rick. How come? Because I'm crap at chipping. <laughs> That's a good enough answer. Fair enough. I was going to swear, but I'm, I'm crap at chipping. But that, that is as, even though it's not a great effort, I must admit, that's still better than yeah. a bad chip. Right. Oh, all square, all Rick square. Shills has given us a moment again. I must admit, I'm we need yeah, to capitalise on these because they're not going to last mm. forever. Let's be honest. I'm just warming up. Where have you got it, brother? I've got it a bit of right to left. I would say so. Would you yeah, agree? Maybe a six inches. Do you do the Jimmy Billard thing? The aim point? Yeah. Something that I still don't... <laughs> I don't fully get it. Quite I'm, I'm pretending. Mm. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do it. So what are you doing here then? Just feeling... Yeah. He's you meditating. You put your fingers out a bit. Yeah. I think you've got it. Yeah, I've got it. Spice Girl, is that one it? Watch this. This goes in now. <laughs> Everybody, every weekend they'll be doing... <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Oh, oh! I probably should have watched that, shouldn't three, I? Maybe three fingers. Pat Pro point. Uh, I probably should have watched it. Yeah. Where we go, mate? Tube, yeah. Tubes point, pat point, <laughs> peak point. Tubes on point. You can have that. Ciao, cheers, mate. So you're in for five. Five. Free run, at, free run at this. Come on, brother. So it wasn't that far right, obviously. No. It, was, it was two fingers. Two fingers, not four. Oh, spy sauce the movie, spy sauce the... Oh, hey. it's three fingers. Three Two and a half fingers. Two and a half fingers. Right. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of jokes in there somewhere. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh. First bogey bogey. Dale boys. I have Still ever had on this one golf up. course. Still one nil. Woo -hoo -hoo. Hardest hole oh, yeah. fantastic. on this golf course. Stroke one. Yeah. There's a beauty. It looks quite long. Funnel T shot. Yeah. Hole sweeps up the left hand side. Yeah. Up to a kind of a raised green. Stunning. It is long, probably the longest par four on the course. I'm not quite sure of the length. Oh, four hundred ish. Yeah, oh, five. Um, okay. Perfect line. It's just left, just right at that bunker. You can see. No. Oh. Straight down the middle. This is all, all you wanted. Come on, bro. Oh no! <sighs> Your pool! Is that like, see you later? Is that gone, Rick? Is that <laughs> bye bye, sweetie pie? Um, I spent a long it's time gone, Rick, at this golf course. <laughs> I spent many a golf day here, yeah. many a filming session here. That's out of here. I, I don't know what's there. <laughs> right, okay. I, like, I, I think I'll, I know this place pretty well. Yeah. I have no idea what's there. The fact that you don't know it's lost is worrying <laughs> how far right that was. You've already found a couple of places I didn't know existed. <laughs> oh, Shira. What a shot. Safe? 
like ridiculously. <laughs> too, too safe. <laughs> so Rick, fast forward uh, nine years. Uh, you are the world's biggest golf YouTuber. Uh, you and your team who are here. Yeah. Because you're just playing around the scene. Around, loves. All the boys. Uh, you must be so proud. Yeah, no, it, it, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I would say it wasn't what I set out to do, but <laughs> I'll be lying. Yeah. I was very, I'm very determined. Like, I wanted to offer the best content and, you know, to, to grow at the fastest rate. And it kind of kept you competitive, really. It's like any business, you want to, you want to be the biggest and you want to be the best and and uh you know bringing on the team and being able to to adopt some changes and to have somebody like guy who works with me like to have someone to say that's not a great idea mm. i was like i never had that before it was sounding board sort of yeah. Thing. yeah and it was like that's not going to work i'm like all right great okay but that, well that's key isn't it for someone like guy to say no rick i don't i don't i don't agree exactly. with that exactly yeah and yeah. my editors i've there's another uh guy with who's not behind the camera Tim as well who's worked for me the longest like his editing and the way we've put the videos together um, and then you know just you've got to keep evolving otherwise like it slows down yeah. too much yeah and the big thing that we really tried to focus on obviously I'm a golf pro and that's what I do and I live in golf yeah. but I also wanted to make content that wasn't aimed just at golfers because right. even though there's 63 million golfers in the world the seven billion yeah, yeah, <laughs> other others. people as well. Yeah, totally. So it's, it's trying to make content where people would, would find entertaining in that genre as well, really. Mm. So, and and they might find a, a wacky video, let's say, of a wacky club that I've bought that's that's like, I had this one that the swingless golf club and yeah. it just fires itself. Yeah, yeah, I see that one. Loads of non-golfers would watch that. Yeah. And you never know, the next video they might watch is how to hold a golf club. Yeah. The next video they might watch is us playing golf or they might go, actually golf looks kind of cool yeah. yeah like golf's not as stuffy as i thought it, it was so that's you know i don't vouch to grow the game it's not, i want to obviously yeah i find it very difficult to pinpoint what grows the game but i know for a fact that when people comment on videos saying i'm now hooked to your channel i never played golf before i think well I'm, at least i'm doing my bit i'm bringing more yeah. people into the game which is really good yeah. as well because um you know golf does have a perception yeah that it's it's trousers up to here and your yeah, pants yeah, tucked yeah, into yeah. your socks Black and all feet, that yeah. jazz and, we are trying to change and, that yeah and there's like there's obviously that. different styles and you know it's not stuffy and we're not you know you can have fun with your mates and yeah. relax and it's great for the mind it's great for totally. you know mental health and yeah. physical health and i mean like this like you don't get you know no other sport well you I, get I, I said off camera didn't i, I said can it get any better than this we're all it's just like perfect. six seven eight blokes just having a laugh walking yeah. up this it's and for the mental health you mentioned that it's so good for the mental health so good and even if you're not playing great and you're not having the best day on the golf course yeah laugh it off who cares yeah. it doesn't matter don't take it too like, seriously it's, it's one of those things you know yeah. um you're not yeah. going to come scratch golf overnight exactly so enjoy that process and hopefully you do get there but if you don't get there then enjoy it it's no, four hours of your mates know your levels yeah. and know what you like and you always hit a good shot yeah you hit a great <laughs> shot you say know your levels i'm about 43 <laughs> yards from the tee block <laughs> and when rick said it he started a bit he's like you always hit a good, good <laughs> shot uh, yeah watch what i do now it's gonna be scary that will work sit there that sit there Oh, will it? Sit there. And you Ooh. won't be in the bunker, wouldn't you? It's on the bank. <laughs> Come on, bro. Got one hole to play with. You're 322 away, so. Hit the green. You might not have to wait for the green to clear on this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're all right. Just got to commit to it, Rick. Always top these shots. No, you don't. Not this time. Yes! Not this time. Come not on! This time. Yes, right. Only shot. Come, Come on. on. Come on! Perfect. Yes, brother. Just need to get a good contact on this. Middle of the green. It's intricate, isn't it? Try and make a par, yeah. right? Yeah. Come here for the golf pro. <laughs> <laughs> made a par, yeah? <laughs> Mind you, me and my brother have been talking absolute swaddle. So. Yeah. I must admit, you, you, the shots that I'm thinking of in my head at the moment are very different to what I normally think <laughs> when you're talking about the S word and <laughs> bloody left the and right. I can't even, bring himself I to can't say, even it. say it. It should, be, should be banned. Should get a copyright strike on YouTube for even saying the word. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. 
nice line. Will the real Rick Shields please stand up? Oh, will he stand up? <laughs> oh, let's go! 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 let Oh, See you later. it's all it's all unraveling. Right, come on, man. Commit to it. Don't do what I did. I'm just caught in between grips now. I don't really know what. I'm not the sharpest. Right. Nice slow swing. Beauty. I like, that. I like that. Kick, hop, skip. Oh. Very nice. It's good. It's not Very good nice. enough, but I'm happy. Yeah. Got it dancing. One of us has done it. Rick, last couple of years. Channel's gone berserk. Literally, the last few years. Why do you reckon that is? Um, anything different you've done? Anything? Talent, good luck. Yeah, cool. obviously, apart from the other, yeah. Great golf. <laughs> yeah. You know, the usual stuff. <laughs> uh, no, it, you know, if I'm honest, it's just, again, that evolution. Like, again, guy in the background there, you can see he's been a huge help in, yeah, yeah. in understanding the content. I think what, what we do really well is, you know, we try and give the viewer something they didn't know they wanted. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah, yeah. Like, Apple have this kind of thing. Like, I didn't know on my phone I, I wanted Face ID. I didn't know I wanted Apple Pay. Yeah. I didn't know I wanted all those things, but now I have it. I can't, can't almost live without it. it. Yeah. Great way but what we've tried to do with the content is give people what they didn't realise they wanted. Yeah. Like, Mad Clubs, Mad Collaborations, yeah. like this yeah. great 75 series that we've done. Like, people didn't maybe know they wanted a 10 minute full round of golf you know, really chopped up snappy, yeah, or yeah. a coaching video with loads of graphics where we just cut out all the fat and just get straight into it. So yeah. it's, it's not been like, we, we look through the, the stats and the evidence. I was going to say, Seb on golf, who you're, you're mates with, he says your, your attention to detail is second to none. It's like, you check what did well, where, where it peaked, what it didn't. Well, what, what's mad, something you'll, you'll, maybe you'll appreciate. <clears throat> Whenever we do a thumbnail or a, title of a video so we're all in a whatsapp chat together yeah i reckon we maybe do close to like 10 iterations of a thumbnail before we we're happy with it or we come up with loads of different titles we come up with loads of, we go what is the most clickable what's what is you might make a great product yeah great video great you know that's the best video i've ever no made it. it's not going to get seen yeah but if you don't if it's not clickable mm. if people aren't going to watch it and people aren't going to you know yeah it's pointless so the thumbnail and the title is something really we really pride ourselves on and try to be really you you know um uniformed in our thumbnail so if somebody sees my thumbnail yeah. they know it's my video it's your brand sort of yeah thing. Yes. so that's yeah. something we've really worked hard at but then also you know as you mentioned before i've been doing this since like 2012 mm. so People kind of come to it, and I've never really had a break away from it, or yeah. it's been very consistent across yeah. those years. Yeah. Now, I think a viewer as well, if they subscribe to a channel, they want consistency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if, if suddenly they're not getting a video for three months, they're going, well, why am I subscribed to this channel where yeah. we've just been steady, yeah. just not over flooding it, but just trying to put out quality content all the time. So, it, you know, it, there's, there's an element of, of luck and judgment and everything else, but a lot of it is, is measured, like you can. Hard work. You, yeah, Hard you, work, you know, we yeah. put the- 1.6 million subscribers and I'll tell, isn't luck. And I'll tell you what, all of us, the, like we're addicted to like oh, the, the growth. Yeah. Like we're addicted, we have like weekly meetings and weekly reports where we go, so this is where we were last year. This is where we are this year. Like yeah. we proper measure it and, and you know, do it that way. Amazing, mate. I've hit this shot way too close. <laughs> Talking about your subscribers. <laughs> I think you're going to see Rick Shields birdie dance. He says he wasn't going to do it. I might miss this on purpose. But I think... It might you be need, the most understated to... birdie dance you've ever seen. <laughs> you guys need well. to box yours desperately to, make, to force me to hold it. Shoot to go. Yeah. Right. Where do you want it? A few inches left? Yeah. One of us thinks this, it basically opens access to a Rick Shields birdie dance. <laughs> and there it is. Just sink it. Just oh sink my it. Word. Just oh sink my it. Word. <laughs> Get over in now. Get over in. <laughs> oh, what a hole. You really, really want to see me do this, don't oh, you? Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Come on, 
snuck it in. Should we start swarming in? I need <laughs> to snuck it in. Close it in. I want Guy to get in as well for the birdie dance if it happens. <laughs> Two Vans golf rifles with the Rick Shields crew are out there. I told you he'd do it. What a legend. Here we go. Nice birdie as well. So we just jumped a couple of holes. So this is now the six hole, par six five. Hole. Yeah. Sweeping dogleg round the corner. See the two humps? Yeah. yeah. A monster drive on that line's good. If not, slightly to the right of them. Cool. Roger that. This hole, the par three next is stunning. And yeah. the eighth hole, the next three are probably my favorite three. Wow. On the front is line. Is that why certainly. you chose them? Yeah. I don't we'll say skip, I'm playing. We'll skip a few. I don't say I'm playing well. <laughs> I just say they're it's my favourite. Birdie, mate. Yeah, I just love them. Yeah, yeah. Someone's made a birdie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some, yeah. Someone's not scared of the birdie yeah, dance exactly. Oh, a tiny bit right. That's what's yeah. known in the trade as a high bomb. Jesus. It takes about eight years to come down, yeah. doesn't it? That's a, a little bit. That's an yeah, absolute I, mammoth. I could have gone a bit tighter line, but it's, it's fine. It's safe. Right, come on, please. Oh, <laughs> it's high. That's high. Nice your pitching wedge shot done. Laying up. <laughs> Straight down the middle. Fair way. Go on, biggin. No. Oh, head up. No. We're taking yours though. Yep, tubes. Ah. There we go. Right, Rick, I've got a five iron. Well, this is what we call the breasts. Right. You kind of want to go left breast. <laughs> left breast. I know that. I know them well. <laughs> Straight over left breast. Got a couple. Yeah. It's perfect. There's actually three here. It's quite unique. Okay. <laughs> it's a triple <laughs> breast. A rogue breast. Right, yeah, so to three. five iron over the left breast. Yeah. Right, here we go. Perfect. Straight Try the cleavage. Ooh. Love it, guy. Get the breast dance. <laughs> Tubes is fine. A little bit left of it would be better. Okay. would be perfect. So I need, I need that hook I don't want, basically. Yeah, you can't go too far left, though, but straight over that one in the middle is great. No, that is awful. Don't worry, bruv. I've got you covered. Brothers in arms. <laughs> See, quick. So Rick, with uh, 1.6 million subscribers, comes with a lot of recognition and uh, a lot of fame. How have you found that? Um, I, I must admit, it's, it's more it's famous at a golf club. <laughs> you know, um, uh, when I, I think you've been a bit modest. A lot of people, even here <laughs> we, this morning, people are going, Rick, Rick, yeah. I know this is your club, but you must get recognised a lot. And yeah, it, it's it's really interesting when it, if if I'm. Not in a golf setting, I get spotted. Yeah. And I'm with my kids or my family and stuff. My kids always go, "You've got a lot of friends, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you've got you've got a lot of people, you've got a lot of friends." And I kind of explain, or they watch the YouTube and they go, "Oh, is that because you've got one of those gold plaque things? Because yeah, yeah. they're so into YouTube, even at such a young age, they know what a gold plaque is and stuff." Um, no, listen, it, it's great, and I think because again it's youtube and it's very personable and people like that that personal um element to it like they feel comfortable to come up and chat yeah. and talk and golf and you know they might say oh thanks for the recommendation of the club you you mentioned or reviewed or thanks for helping me with my yeah. slice that i had or whatever else so that, that's always really nice but yeah it's i'm still not fully used to it like did you when you were like obviously going into stardom how did that i found of, it so weird did you uh, when i because it was like when i was maybe 15 16 when i first started soccer m and i Is believe it, i believe it or, yeah believe it or not i'm pretty shy and i, I just did i just found it so i just found it so weird i remember i was in epsom and like at a bar and someone goes you're the you're the uh, peter the test tube baby but that's what i used to be on soccer yeah. m and i was like I was like, what, 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 how, I said, oh, do you know one of my friends? He's like, no, I watch you. And I was like, oh, yeah. 
and then all of a sudden I found it, it happened more and more and more, and I found it so weird. Yeah. And even now it's like, I find it like, people are like saying like, nice stuff, people I don't know, and it's like. Yeah. It's it is crazy, isn't it? Yeah, not, yeah. F not fame, but like getting recognised. Yeah. It is, it's mad. And I think because again, you know, it, it, it's, your content, your on-screen persona is very approachable. You probably get approached a lot from from fans anyway because you don't seem to put up a guard or a barrier where I think there's probably other people that would potentially yeah. put up a guard or a barrier and, and you know and I think maybe that would change where people would feel comfortable coming up to you maybe comfortable coming up to me as in like because there's no barrier no. up it is what it there'll is. be other yeah, yeah. you know people online or people on TV that you like oh I better not go to yeah. them and ask for a picture because yeah. I, I know plenty you know of those I mean? people yeah they're gonna bite, bite my head off or something it's more approachable <laughs> yeah yeah Right, um, right. This isn't brilliant. I must admit, I sh I'm normally kind of closer to that road and maybe a bit over it. But we've got a shot into this green, um, two thirty. Not the best lie in the world. I'm going to rattle a four iron and try Go and on. chase it up there. Oh, oh! Jump it! Get out! Stop! It's in the Lewis. Yeah, it's, in. it's in the Lewis. <sighs> it's a bad golf shot, that. mate. But you've just birdied the hardest hole in the course, so just. That. It's not your finest, but it's a little bit left of that, and it's mm. chasing and running all the way to the green. Oh, it's a connection. That's really nice. Just one nice big hop up. Would you it? Oh no, Rick. That I thought that would have been a million miles off, you know. I thought that was spot on. If that would have landed left, that would have rolled up nicely. Yeah. It would have, yeah. That was the, that was the right club. Eight iron. And Eight iron, was it? Yeah. Right, okay. Come on, get it dancing. Put the pressure on here with me in the bunker. Come on, down through it. Just commit to it. I've gone to pot. Lefty Lucy. Sounds good when you hit it, but <laughs> that is left. <laughs> I mean, that's not, that's not even left, is it? <laughs> Come on, that's head not, up. That's at the mirror, that. Positive thinking. Right, Rick, this is that 40-yard bunker shot we talked about that is the hardest <laughs> yeah. shot in golf. It's a little, tiny bit further back, but it's not a pretty one. Okay, show us how it's done. It's got to go left side of that flag. Cool. Oh, uh, that is picked out lovely. Sit okay. down. Yeah, shot. Oh, oh, oh spin keep coming. Spinner. Keep Who's coming. Keep coming. Really, 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 really. Come on, boy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get back here. Oh, class, mate. What a What's shot. What a shot. 60? Yeah, 60. Little chipper. Cool. Come on. Not sure. Not sh short. Oh, it's all right. Probably you. This could be back to back birdie dancing. And the man who doesn't want the birdie dancing, I feel like I want to go back to back <laughs> now. Now, I, now I've got it off. Now I've got it out of the way. Now you broke your duck. <laughs> Quite literally. <laughs> Oh. Get down. Oh. It's good. I love you, Paul. I got a bit scared of it. Not the birdie <laughs> dance, I got a bit scared of the putt. <laughs> big Lovely par it, from it? Mr. Shields. Right, we need this. Oh, Rick is one up. What, you're on left edge? Yeah. Not that much, surely. No? No. Like that. Need to hit it, but that was probably the line. <laughs> right, come on, brother. I need to show up this hole, I've been an absolute letdown. Hit it. No! 
Gents. Rick Shields, one up. One up, here we go. The screw's been turned. So seventh hole, signature hole on this golf course, beautiful par three. Like a bit of water for almost more aesthetic reasons there, just short right. Then there's a, a stream that cuts kind of across the front of the green, almost very kind of Augusta 12-esque, but the other way around. Really complex green, pins front right, friendly pin position, that's the only thing that's going for us on this hole today. I mean, does it get any better than this? This is literally perfect. It feels just a touch into breeze too. I don't think it's a full one of these actually. What's your worst conditions to play in? Wind? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind rain. Just yeah, wind just does me. When you think you've hit a great shot and it's 40 yards short. Well, every bit of golf in the wind is hard, like yeah. putting, full shots, yeah. like just everything is hard in the wind. This is, this is only a breeze. Bang on, isn't it? That's the bang on. Oh my god, it's in! Oh, oh. oh I tell you what. What that, a shot. Just a fraction a shot. Tracer. What a Ooh. shot. I didn't say anything oh. too premature because that looked bloody good in the air. <laughs> oh, <laughs> silence always gives it away. That's unbelievable. Right, so Rick nearly got a hole in one. So, uh, no pressure. Oh, I'll stay like. there. Stay there? What do you mean? Yes. Yeah, back left. I can see it, yeah. Oh, yeah. I hit that well. That sounded nice. Mm. Golf shot. Come on. You can attack the flag now. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry. You can play a bit more aggressive now. I feel sorry for the ducks. Oh. Oh, I keep doing that. Why am I going left, Rick? I'll be honest, I wasn't watching. Oh, I don't, I don't blame <laughs> you. I thought I wasn't as well. It's all right. Just going left. Two putt. I'm sure though, if you search uh, how to fix a pull, Rick Shields, there'll be something on YouTube <laughs> yeah, available yeah. somewhere. Just a couple. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I, I, yeah, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not massively looked at your technique, but is that your normal shot, left? More so these days than ever, yeah. Did you used to fade it, slice it? No, I used to draw it. So I would say- And control it. Just get the sensation for you, you're gonna hit, on the way down, you're gonna hit more the inside of the golf ball. Right, okay. Because if, if you said to me I'm normally a slicer, that might have been you've changed your, your club face, but you're still swinging left. Right, okay. But it's it sounds to me like it. your club face is probably still the same when you used to draw it, yeah. but now you swing it left instead of swinging it right. Right, okay. So get the feeling, if you've got the golf ball, feel like you're hitting the inside so of the golf ball. look at a certain ball. point of the inside and try and hit that. Again, a bit like if you had a football, you're going to hit, almost hit the inside of yeah. it and kind of curl it round a Come little bit. through it. You might draw it. Is there anything it on the backswing I can do to correct that? Do you want to sort of shallow it out more? No, or? backswing looks good. Yeah. You just get, once you get to the top, you just swing a little bit over and left. You almost smother See, it a little yeah. bit. That's also why you might struggle with driving, you know. Yeah. Because if you smother it and hit down and left. Yeah, I mean, I'm, the hook's violent. Yeah, big time, yeah. Yeah, it's a violent Tee hook. it up and get the feeling like you're hitting it on the way up. Yeah. Would be much better. All right, next hole. Let's give that a go, shall we? <laughs> Rick, uh, talk me through this. We're gonna need to melt with this one, If the we? pin was here, you'd have hit it perfect. <laughs> but uh, you got quite a journey there, lads. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm. Um, there's, a, there's a buried elephant on the green, so that's something you've got to get over. Yeah. yeah. That's going to kick it left. Ugh. Good luck. Inside mine would yeah. be a result. Good, I think, I think it's a hitting it. over here. I would probably aim it somewhere near mine. If you just get it, if you're delicate and just get it right to the top of that hill, down the elephant's back, it'll roll. I'd go, for, yeah, that's good. Jesus Christ. Go, 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 go! Go! Up, is it? Yeah, it's going go! Up. It's going up. 
another couple of rolls and that would have been mega. Oh, I don't mind that. I don't think that was far off. Get it right to the top of the, the bump and it'll be good. And walk it in. Come on. Come on. That has a half Come a on. chance. Come on. Sit down. Oh. Yeah, that, that's really good from Thanks, there. Well played, brother. That is really so, good yeah, from well there. Well played. Mr. Shills with another birdie dance opportunity. Unfortunately, it's becoming a, becoming yeah, a habit. He's, he's, uh, he's picked it up. Okay. I think this is in, you know. <laughs> I think it's in. Oh, it's ducked out. Another par. Hey, hey, hey. Another par, right. Come on, Ann. I didn't think I was going to swing that much. This would be an incredible two put from back there. Fancy, man. Yeah! Very, very, very good two put. Terrible drive, but two good putts. So. Nice par. Right, Rick okay. Shields, one up. Join us in part two to find out who wins this nine hole battle.